Right, Mucky, I'll just have these brews and we'll get on with the packing video, shall we? Yeah, sounds good, mate. <laughs> you got those biscuits still? Yeah. Welcome back to the channel. Now as you can see, our time in the Lake District is up. We've packed the tent, the campsite is busy packing out elsewhere. Yeah. What we wanted to do was talk to you about how we pack our bikes. Absolutely, yeah. Um, as Mark and I were just chatting, if you could be forgiven for thinking we are sponsored by Lomo. Yeah, we have Lomo stuff and that is really not the case, is it? It's not, no. So we just really like the gear, that we think it's really good quality and it's worth talking about some of this stuff. I think for full transparency, we should tell people we have been gifted some of these dry bags by Lomo. Uh, so thank you very much, Lomo. Um, brilliant, uh, they've been excellent with us, haven't they? Absolutely, um, and we're gonna talk about that in this video and how we use them, ultimately, haven't we? Yeah, but predominantly, we bought most of this kit because we like it, we've tested it, and uh, it's never let us down, has it? Absolutely, and the system that you can see on the bike, we've got another video on that, so if you haven't seen that and you want a, a very affordable, waterproof soft pannier system go and check out that video uh, and we, we stand by that still yeah. i'll put the link up in the corner below above and uh it's worth saying that these big bags aren't featured in that um, no they're not at the price but we'll talk about prices and all the rest of it when we get into it so let's get into it let's get into it right so what we're going to kick off with and we've been chatting about this is what bags have we got before we start talking about what we put into those bags and how we kind of use them. So Mark, what, what, what have you got on your bike and what do you use? Well, I mean, as you can probably see in the other video, we use these uh, these medium size, I think they're called medium size adventure panniers by Lomo. 13 um, litre, I think. 13 litre, either side, of course. Panniers. They do um, do a larger version, which uh, we might upgrade to at some point. We like these medium version, 13 litres either side. So clearly 26 litres, and that's important. I'll come on to talk about that in a second. But moving on to this top bag, uh, you can see the one down there in yellow and this black one, exactly the same bag. Um, 40 litre dry bag. Yeah. Just take me through it, Jamie. What's, what's that all about? So we want to, so actually, this is not how I mount it. When I mount it, it will go across the bike like that. And it's a great bag. They, they do a bigger one, but for something like this size, if you've got a CRF 250 or the like, that sort of size bike, these are perfect for sizing. It fits pretty much across the bike uh, and comes out to the sides of these panniers. So it looks quite a nice, neat set, to be honest. Yeah. Loads of space inside them. Honestly, oodles. Um, we'll talk about what we've got in the bike, at the, in the bag, sorry, in the minute. But like Jamie says, sit at a stride. I put my panniers at a slight bit more of a, an angle for one thing or another, uh, and I can tuck it all in. So I've almost got like a pack-in loop, like some of the other big brands. Um, yeah. But it, cavernous. But cavernous. And, and how much are these bags? What did we spend? Well, I mean, this, I was lucky enough that my daughter bought me this for my birthday, but I think they're in the region of between 30 and 35 pounds. There are thereabouts. But don't think that you're getting a cheap bag. You're getting a very good value bag, in my opinion. It's really robust. How about you? What have you found yeah, no, exactly the same. Um, we'll go into what we've packed into them in a second, but zero issues at the minute. And, and you'll see these in a video depending on when we release them, out in the Tet in Yorkshire. Um, and certainly these have been through Wales, so uh, yeah, excellent. But I must say, again, reiterate this at the minute, it sounds like we're a walking advert for Lomo, how much we rave about them. Um, that is not the case. Just genuinely trust the kit, don't we? And, and for a few reasons. One, the price point is brilliant. That you know, for, for similar quality, in our opinion, you have to pay quite a lot more money. A lot of these aren't designed to be strapped onto a CRF in the way that we've done it, but do you know what? It works. We wanted something affordable, but very usable and lightweight. Mm -hmm. And you know, we've kind of found that 
possibly the most lightweight of all of this, which we're about to talk about now, are these things, aren't they? Yeah, these bags. So we'll go into what's in these in a second, but these are the dry bags by Lomo, um, obviously, because we're talking about them. Uh, really thin ripstop material. You've got one here, haven't you? Yeah. Really thin ripstop material. Um, and when you open them, they, they seem quite flimsy. Uh, certainly that was my initial thought when, when I got hands on these. But they are solid, aren't they? I mean, yeah. oh yeah, absolutely yeah. solid. I mean, you wouldn't expect it to rip like that, but, um, and 100% completely waterproof. Uh, but my only gripe with these, I think, is this top bit isn't rigid as I would like it. It's kind of like a pro and a con, but, but when, you're, when you're wrapping it, it can sometimes over or under lap like this. See, I, I, that for me is not necessarily a concern. I quite like the, the fact that it's quite malleable. So, potentially it's just personal preference, but I get yeah. what you're saying. You've got, so you have got effectively one rigid side and one fairly loose side, you know? And obviously that this is kind of a rubber seam that goes along the side there. And then folding it over, I tend to go that way. It tends to keep them together and then comes in. But yeah, these are solid. I have stuffed all sorts into this and really crammed it down and none of the seams have burst up at all and so far yeah. it's stayed dry <laughs> and i think it's worth noting i don't bring a pillow with me and over the over the weekend i've stuffed my softy jacket into this a bit of air rolled it up and that has been my pillow for the weekend and it's been turbo comfy so second option for you there yeah. uh so that's that's we've, we've got uh, what sizes they come in mate uh, i don't know what size they are but you get a small medium and a large in the pack uh, we'll put all the links below. That's kind of them, isn't it? Yeah. So we'll put all the links below. That's a full pack of three there. Yeah. yeah. There we go. We're a walking advert for Lomo. We are, yes. Not because we've been asked to, um, but because we like the kit and it's affordable and we think you guys should know about that. Absolutely. Wicked. Cool. Thank you, mate. What do we pack in the bags? So yeah, I use a two bag system. One's got all my dry kit in and I'll go into how I keep that really dry in a second and one's got my uh, easy access stuff like trainers when I get to a campsite, flip-flops, a towel maybe, wash kit, etc. Stuff there's, that I don't need to be able to just... Those loose items that you want early doors and easy access to. Yeah, uh, yeah. waterproofs. So ridiculous, yeah. it seems put waterproofs in a dry bag, but that's you say what that, happens. So that's exactly what I've done, but more con for convenience so that I can just whip it out. But I, I do it in that just purely because I can grab the handle, which is what I really like about these, and go Doesn't Wicked. make that noise all the time. I can go pull it out, dive waterproofs. Wicked. So, and then on the other side, I pack all of my dry clothes that I want in the tent. And what Jamie was just saying about these is what I love. Is once the bike has swallowed them all, you get out, you, you get your tent out, which is lived in, in the big bag there, and then you just pull these out individually and you whip them in um, into your tent, one after the other and it stays dry, if yeah. it's absolutely raining, it stays dry. Yeah, and, and I use a very similar system. Where we differ is what we put inside them. Now, one little system that I will import on all of you is with your medium or small bags, make these your day bags. Um, so what do I mean by that? Each day I've got a set of base layer, underwear, socks in each of these. So it doesn't matter what happens, I know I've got a dry base layer at all times. Yeah, and I used the exact same system last year in Wales. I've done slightly different this time just to test something out. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, I think that's a very good system. So, for this weekend, obviously, I had three of these. Um, base layer, leggings, underpants, two pairs of socks, ridiculously, uh, and a t-shirt. All goes in there, super easy. And like I say, they can just stay wrapped up and dry until you need them, you know, at the end of the weekend or mid-weekend or whatever you do. Yeah, absolutely, and I think that's a really good system, and I think I'll revert back to that. This weekend, I went slightly different. I basically just decanted everything into two bags, or into one bag primarily, and I would have all my clean, dry stuff in that bag, and as I used it, it went into my no longer clean bag. Uh, and that's all I've done throughout the week. So, main differences, a bit more of a faff, I suppose, uh, which I wasn't too worried about on this trip, but if you're going for any length of time, and you just want ease, I think that system's great. Yeah. And you can even, I mean, you could write on them one, two, three, and four, or whatever. Oh, you absolutely so could, yeah. So you could mark them up with what your days are and everything. So really good system, obviously. Yep. 
So that's what goes in the panniers, guys. So base layers in here, I've got a fleece, a pair of trousers, some more socks and pants. Um, yeah, basic stuff. You know, what it's worth mentioning is we don't overpack anymore. So a lot of what we're stood in is a lot of what we have. I do have a pair of trousers and a separate fleece in here, but that is the additional kit to what you see me in here. Yeah. That is it. Just if you're gonna to go to the pub in the evening, you don't wanna wear this. So yeah, some thin walking trousers, or we both pack. That's and it. use the fleece that we've got, that we use in our layer, layering system, which we talked about in a different video. That's all right. Uh, yeah, and then a pair of trainers and you're good to go. Absolutely. Wicked. So that's the pan you've spoken about. Let's talk about these top bags. Now these top bags are, uh, you know, we pack slightly differently again, but there's some commonalities. So what, what have you got in your top bag? So in mine here, uh, I've got my tent sits in there, my roll mat, sleeping bag. I've also got a slightly bigger pump that we keep around the camp and a spare inner tube. And then this, uh, this is where I put my loose stuff. So this is where I differ from you slightly. I've got my flip flops and right. trainers all sit in there. This is, I kind of use this as my catch-all. So once I've done my, my panniers, if there is some extra bits that I've not uh, packed into those areas, they'll additionally go into, into this bag as well. But it's, it's essentially, it's the first thing that comes off my bike when I want to get set up at camp. This is the one that comes off. They can stay where they are. This sets up my home. Yeah. One real big consideration if you're going to follow this system um, is everything that needs to be in here needs to be separately waterproofed unless you don't mind it getting slightly damp and I'll explain that in a second. The bags are uh, super dry, um, you know, they're not going to get wet whilst they're closed but as soon as you open it to get your tent, if you're setting up in the rain, the bag's going to be open and obviously you can induce water. So my sleeping bag, my roll mat and everything else I keep in there that I want to keep dry is individually dry bagged as well. Um, but ultimately once your tent's up, you can chuck everything in your tent, everything stays dry. So. It's just worth thinking about what can stay dry until it's in the tent and then be dry again, if that makes sense. Yeah, and obviously yeah, some people ride with the tent on the outside and have it completely separate so they don't open any bags. And that's a system you can use, obviously. Uh, but we both like the neatness of just putting everything into the bags and you've got effectively three lumps on your bike, strap them down and it feels pretty solid. It does, yeah. Yeah, exactly the same system. So um, obviously we've raved about these, we love them. What don't we like then? Let's make this a fair review. Uh, yeah, so you know when we were looking at these, we both had similar desires on these bags. I wanted something, uh, I wanted something that had a fairly rigid base to it because I didn't like the idea of putting it across the back. So I don't, obviously we don't use racks and stuff. I didn't want it pressing down and kind of overlapping on the back. So I would have liked there to be some sort of more rigid system on the bottom. Maybe, uh, I don't know using what material, but just something to keep that sort of flat form for me so it kind of gives me a level out. So I would have liked that. I did look for that in the bags. If you want anything like that, you're paying at least three times the price of this and I just couldn't justify it for something like that. You know, I can always try and fashion something like that myself by gluing something to the inside, I'm guessing some sort of rigid form. Or and, and you know, for me, um, really minor, but I'm gonna to have to do a modification to the bag because I don't like this strap. Um, I'm going to cut it off. Obviously they're not designed for motorcycles, they're designed as a dry hold all for travel, even for water sports, putting it in your kayak, whatever it is. Um, but that to me is just an additional pointless strap for use on the motorcycle at least, so I'm going to cut mine off. Uh, and that's simply because once it's strapped to the bike, even though I put a net over it, I can see them flapping and that bugs me. I hate, it annoys you more I hate than little it annoys extra me. strap bits. But I mean when we're talking about Gripes, they're pretty minor, aren't they? I, I was racking my brains to try and be as fair to this review as I can, but I can't, I genuinely can't think of much wrong with any of the kits. No. And you know, if we were to cost everything up, and I haven't exactly, but we know from the panniers that's just under £100, the bag at 35 let's call it, and a packet of these, um, three bags, I suggest you probably need six, so two packs of these at I don't know what they're coming at. Total cost, maybe 10 to 15 quid. 20, quid. Yeah. So let's say 25 um, plus your 35 plus your 100 quid. So how cheap Not is that? Much, yeah, 160 like, quid all in. 160 for a complete waterproof set. That's why I love it. A complete waterproof set, which is a combination of all of your outside bags and the stuff that goes into them, because you can pay more than that just for those you know, the big U shaped bags mm -hmm. and all that sort of stuff. Uh, and you've not even got your ease system inside that. So. 
Yeah. Uh, so, and, and then obviously a bit of extra cost for bungees. We use rock straps, but uh, however you choose to fix it. Yeah, you're probably always going to use something extra, aren't you? But not a bad system. Definitely for well under two hundred pounds, we've got a full, fully waterproof, easy system that's easily organisable. Uh, and, and, and you can use for other things. Use for other things, yeah. We love it, obviously. Okay, so that's it. That's as much as we've got to say about Lomo. Thank you very much for tuning in again. Um, if you have got any questions on any of this stuff, feel free to put it into to the comments below. Like, comment, subscribe. As always, we really appreciate all the support. Uh, and until next time, stay safe on the trails. Take it easy. And take it easy, yeah. Cheers, guys. See you later. Yeah, great chat, man. Yeah, I was, I was trying to think of something inside, something else that we've got. Did you have a rhythm? Yeah, oh, we did, yeah. A real green lady. Anything like this would be trashed in a day. Oh, it's just because we're better riders.